guys, Matt here. So I started to make uh, these pork steaks and I figured I'd take you along. This is, let's see, 6.27 pounds of pork steaks bone in. Got them from Walmart. So what I'm doing is there's six in here. I put them in the crock pot. I put it on low for 10 hours. It's about seven o'clock at night and then I'll just let it run all night and stop it tomorrow. But I put some barbecue sauce in, I put some Sweet Baby Ray's and then some homemade. I put it in the bottom a little, put a pork steak, put a little bit of both, put a pork steak and so on. So I am a couple layers in and we'll do a couple more layers with you. I wasn't gonna film this, but I am trying to be better more and more at videoing uh, things I make because what's one thing you have to do every day cook so might as well film it and take you guys along on the journey some things will be good some things may not be good but we shall see together so I'm just gonna add a little bit more in stacking these and the reason I do this is I cook pork steaks on the grill sometimes but I kind of quit doing that because they're kind of like car tires I just am not the best at getting them done but not getting them rubbery if that makes sense so I have the same issue with chicken my wife will tell you that I like making sure chicken and pork is done Beef I'm not as picky about, for sure. But chicken and pork, I like making sure it's done. So in some instances, most actually, I overcook it and it's rubber. So. All right guys, so that is it. I will see you in about 10 hours and this already smells good. This homemade sauce, oh man. I need to do a video on this because this stuff is good. All right, be back with you. All right, guys, it's the next day. It's about nine o'clock. I ran it for 10 hours and then I put it on for another two hours or so because I was sealing the driveway and I didn't want to mess with this at the time. So anyway, here we are. It smells awesome in here. Just saying. So I take this lid off, throw it in the sink so it doesn't drip everywhere. You can see the Barbecue sauce has made kind of a glaze on there. There's a lot of extra water, but oh man, does it smell good in here. All right, let's take one of these out. It's probably just gonna fall apart. Yep, it's just gonna fall apart. So I'm just gonna take pieces out. Whoop. I'm gonna stick it in these Tupperware containers for meal prep for the week. I'm gonna put some vegetables in there and stuff. Might as well just put it right in the container. There's no reason to put it on the cutting board first. I wasn't sure exactly how tender it would be. I knew it would be pretty tender, but I wasn't quite sure if it'd be this tender or not, which it is, and that's awesome. Like I said, my problem with pork steaks, I don't like them, but they're always dry and tough. So this is the best way ever. So just FYI. All right, I gotta try a little piece. I break a little piece off because that is boiling hot. Try a little piece here. Because you have to try everything after you cook it on YouTube, right? That is boiling hot, melt my face off hot, but completely worth it. All right, guys, as always, if you would, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a good day. Thank you. Bye.